Hey guys, today we have a 2009 Nissan Maxima. It's an all key slot. So we didn't have any keys here, so we're gonna add one. Got some friendlies here. What's up guys? All right, let's get started. Let's get started with this. Today we'll be using this Autel KM100. We have the, um, the OBD Bluetooth connected already. As you can see, there's a blue light in there. And make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. Right here. See how Wi-Fi here. And I already turned on the, the hazard on. As you can see, this is, doesn't work. Won't even turn on. And make sure we have a power outside we got a um, good battery power in there so we can start with let's go to let's go to emo go to emo hey buddy Hey buddy, all right. Okay, it's gonna be tough here. We got a couple. Shh, shh, don't. Okay, let's go to Nissan. It's here. It's 2009 Maxima, so we're gonna go to manual selection. So I don't think we're gonna have an automatic selection here because the car is, is um, dead. So we go North America. And we go Maxima. Eastern Maxima right here. And this is 2009. Okay, North America. Let's go press yes. So let's go to Emo Status Scan real quick. It says turn on the hazard light, open and close the door. Open and close the door once, turn on the ignition if it can be turned on. So right now the hazard line is on, as you can see. So like, open and close it once. And let's check it out. Press OK. I know the ignition won't turn on. We don't have a key. We don't have a working key. This is all key slots. It's canning the vehicle. There you go. Make sure there's no DTC or codes in it. If there is, we gotta use the quick DTC erasure. All right, 75%. <clears throat> and this should be, shouldn't be long. Right now it says, Number of registered key is zero. Okay, so everything is okay. Let's go all keys lost, guided. Let's go start. Go start. Execution will erase all learned key. Do you want to continue? Yes. Remove the battery from the smart key and then insert the smart key into the slot to verify it can start the vehicle in an emergency. So, as to ensure the key is not, it's okay. So, I removed the battery of this smart key. As you can see. I'm not hearing anything. The IRS, but there's no RF. So, this is no battery in it. Let's go ahead, put it in a um, slot here. It's on the lower left side. Put it there. Once we remove it, let's go ahead, press OK. Turn off the ignition, turn on the hazard. So ignition is off. See, I can turn it on, but I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, now it doesn't turn off. 
So this one, turn off the ignition. Turn on the hazard. I'm trying to turn off. I won't turn off. Let's just turn on the hazard on. Let's try it this time. That's okay. We'll see if it do that. See, it won't turn off. I just clicked it. It's supposed to be off. Insert the smart key into the card slot and turn on ignition. So we inserted it and ignition is on as you can see. Press OK. Remove the smart key slot. The instrumental will go off by itself. We'll see. It will get off by itself. It did not. So it did not go off by itself. So it did not because it's supposed to be off. This cluster should be off when we do that. So let's see. Let's press OK. Insert the smart key to be learning the slot. Turn on the ignition. The security light will blink. You gotta look at the security light. So let's try and put it in. I don't see any security security light blinking. So okay. Let's press no. No valid key detected. The ignition code was 40. The key was 40. So number two to so ignition code might be faulty on this one. Go we try. It doesn't do it. Alright. Alright guys, let's get started. I'm gonna tell you what. I've been having a problem to program this. But after an hour or so, I found out this gear was on neutral. So I put it in park position. I'm pretty sure that's a big deal. So let's go start again. And I thought it's the um my slot was bad or my key was wrong. So what I'm gonna do when I start over it again. So let's go back all the way to the beginning. From the beginning. So, so we'll be using the Alto KM100. Make sure everything is connected. Alright. And there's no battery in these in this um, remote that we begin to be programming. So we go to IMMO, EMO, let's go to Nissan, and then let's go manual selection. Alright, new sliding North America. Let's go to Maximo 2009. We already started with the hazard on. Press yes. Let's go ahead to hot function. I know there's supposed to go to emo scan. I'm not gonna do emo scan right now. I know there's no DTC on this one. Turn on hazard warning light. Open and close the door. Turn on the ignition if it can be turned on. Let's see if we can turn it on. It won't turn on. All right. Let's just press OK. Communicating right now. Smart key learning guided. Let's press start. Execution will lose all the keys. Okay, remove the battery from the smart key. I already removed it from here. It says, press OK. Turn off ignition, it's off. Turn on the hazard, open and close the door. Press OK. Getting the pin. Insert the smart key to the card and turn on the ignition. So, smart key, put it in the slot. Set turn on the ignition. So it's on, so you can see everything is light up. And then press OK. Establishing.
remove this marker from the key and it should automatically go off. So at this part, every time I remove the smart key, it doesn't turn off. Finding out this was not on part. So now we're on part. We'll see what happened. Remove this one. Thank you. There you go. It turns off. Say press OK. Insert the smart key to be learned and into the slot and turn on the ignition. The security indication of the dashboard will flash five times. All right, let's go ahead. Insert this one. Turn on. Looking for the flashing. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. It flash. Awesome. Press yes. Program success. Continue to the next program. Yes. Let's go program another one. Let's see. Remove the smart key. It should come off. Let's go remove this one. It go off. Thank you. That's good. Now we have this. I don't know if this is working key or what. But this is laying around here. Press OK. Insert the smart key. Insert it. Turn on. Let's see if it blink. One, two, three, four, five. That is good. Press yes. Success and no. Remove the smart key from and it should go off. Let's remove this one. Let's put it in the side. There. Press OK. Insert the learn smart key into the key slot. Turn on the ignition. Wait for three seconds. So we're gonna start the first one that we key. Turn on the ignition. Wait for three seconds. Let's put it in. Turn it on. Wait for three seconds. One, two, three, Mississippi. Everything's good. Let's check it out. That's okay. Remove the smart key. It should go up. Come off. Remove it. Let it come off. There you go. And press OK. Learning complete. Check everything can be started in vehicle. Moment of truth. We'll see. Let's press OK on this one. What we're gonna do. This doesn't have a battery, so what we're gonna do is we'll just insert it there. So you can see there will be a light flashing there. I must insert this key and it's still flashing somehow. So what we're gonna do is we just we'll see if we can start the car. Let's start the car. It's not too bad. Let's start the car. Turn it off. Let's remove this one. Let me try if this will start the car. Put the key there. It's the second one. That one start the car as well. Turn it off. This should be working because it has a battery in it. That works. Alright guys. I'm gonna remove the battery here, install it here, and that's what we're gonna be using. Thank you guys. Make sure everything is parked properly. This one is not in park. I was having a problem not communicating. So we programmed this with Auto KM100, all keys lost for 2009 Nissan Maxima. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys.